Wing Merchant Gaming here with another review, and we're reviewing Battle Princess of Arcadia's for the PlayStation 3. Now, in this game, you play as Princess Plume, and her kingdom, Kingdom Schwert, has been taken over by monsters, and you have to take your kingdom back. So that's the overall story kind of thing. It does elaborate a little bit more uh, once you get into it, but that's pretty much it. Now, you can choose a few characters to take with you in your party, so you don't always have to choose Pl Princess Plume. You can choose from other characters that have different advantages and disadvantages. This is a JRPG slash hack and slash game, and it is a JRPG hack and slash game at its finest. I really did enjoy the experience here. First off, the visuals you'll note are simple, and they do look different. They're unique and elegant, and I thought they were fantastic. I thought they were really beautiful, and just every ounce of uh, sort of surprise is in this game. You never know what's going to happen next. You never know what enemies are going to show up, and you never know what they're going to look like. And in their cool little cartoony way, uh, they all look unique and fantastic. Just wonderful, really. Audio again is fantastic, and if you're if you're a fan of English dubs, you won't be uh, a fan of this game because there is no English dub. There's English subtitles, which I thought was fair enough. I really did enjoy the Japanese voiceover in the background. I thought it was fantastic, and I thought it really brought that element uh, or that tone to the game. I thought it was it was, it was great. There was no complaints about that. I didn't mind reading the English subtitles at all. So the gameplay is fun, frantic, quick. You know, you can level up your characters. You can level up um, the weapons. You can you can do all sorts with this game. There's so many RPG elements. And in fact, you can take control of whole armies and uh, face against other armies. And that happens in the background sometimes in certain missions. And it looks really cool. You know, you can change their stance. And you have a little bit of a... Uh, input on, on how your armies uh, act and how they uh, defeat the enemies. So overall this is definitely one of the best RPGs I've played this year. I think it's a fantastic experience. The story is great, the characters are fun and the actual gameplay is frantic, fun and fantastic and it's probably, well it is, one of the best experiences I've had this year with a JRPG. Now it's out on PlayStation 3, you can go pick it up now and I recommend you do. It's really great, really fun, but if you're not a fan of English, uh, if you're a fan of English dub and you're not a fan of not having an English dub available, you won't be a fan of this, but I still recommend you pick it up, because you'll still have a great experience, regardless. Just read the subtitles, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. This game gets an 8 out of 10 from me. It is fantastic, and it is definitely recommended. You should certainly go pick it up. Check out my other videos and also check out the link in the description below. That will link you to my written review so you can get more of an idea of how I felt about the game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. 8 out of 10 from me. And I shall see you with another review soon. Cheers.